What can I do for you, young man? Look at this harmonica that I dug out of someone's ass. Hmm. I recognize this. Damn, this is bad news, kid. I figured that someone might knock off Fisk, but I hadn't planned on this. This harmonica belongs to Sergio Booth, hence the initials. He always leaves these things in the mouths of high-profile victims. What? He's fast, ruthless, and unpredictable. And now he's here, goddammit. With Fisk gone and the NCR occupied with the war, Sergio has a real opportunity to seize control of the local raiders and crime syndicate. Where is he getting the harmonicas? I'm worried that Sergio's presence might be tied to another pressing matter. Just recently, Lieutenant Ramsey went out to recon Valley de Haro. It's a newfound hub for raiders that's tucked away in the sheep range. What really has me worried was Ramsey's last message. He seemed to believe he had sighted Sergio up there. I was skeptical at the time, of course. There's no doubt about it now, though. Sergio's here, and he's probably set up shop in that cesspool. As for Ramsey, I'm fearing the worst. If that's indeed the case, please get his dog tags. I'd advise you to pack plenty of ammo, supplies, and a few well-armed companions. I wish I could spare men, but that's out of the question. Why? In the old days, we would have run in there guns blazing and hanged the ringleader on sight. Now, with this damn war, we can't do shit. Whatever the risk, you have to take Sergio down. I'm authorizing a reward of 2,000 caps for his fingers. Ooh. If the money ain't enough, then there's something else. Sergio is rumored to be the half-brother of Marco. I know you had dealings with Steven Randall before, and there's a lot of bad blood with Marco. I've seen you with that old pistol of Randall's, too. You have? A lot of hard men have pursued Marco, and they all came up empty-handed, and most of them died in the process. If he's alive, then Sergio is your best shot at finding him. So, 2,000 caps and a shot at finding Marco. If that ain't incentive enough, you need to change occupations. Good luck. We're not doing this for the caps, but the opportunity to find old butter bars, maybe rescue him, and gain his respect... And also life experience. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> What's going on over there? A random wandering brotherhood guy burning cows alive. Why did you just kill this man's cows? Bit OTT, my friend. Holy shit. <laughs> Laser katana? <laughs> okay. I think nothing encompasses the 80s in two words better than laser katana. Ah, uh, yes. This is what I've always wanted. It doesn't really look like a katana. It looks like a tuning fork, I'm if gonna I'm going to be honest. I'm going to call it a fire sword. Pew. Why don't we tap that ass? Oh. Ah, we failed. Can, can you... <laughs> as funny as this is, you might accidentally overshoot and hit the people in that shack behind it. Who, who is, whose shack is that anyway? The Coyote Courier? Hey. Oh my god! Give me the signal, and I'll put one right between the eyes of this rebellious scum. Hi there. Welcome to the Coyote Courier. What can I do for you? I'm Zack, and you're the guy that's been smearing me. You must be the bounty hunter everyone is reading about. I've got to say, your actions have been an unforeseen boon to the paper. Subscriptions have skyrocketed, so thank you for providing the headlines. <laughs> of course, I'm offended that you would even suggest libel on my part. I take great pride in my journalistic integrity. Besides, there's no such thing as bad publicity. You're in a dirty business, friend. So you shouldn't expect the press to sing your praises. My benefactors expect me to hold the NCR to a high standard. Believe me, it's nothing personal. Look at it from my perspective. Bounty hunters make for lousy heroes. Honestly, who in their right mind would build a narrative around them? We'll see how well you can write with a shotgun barrel jammed down your throat. It's not very judicious to threaten a member of the press. I've got contacts in the NCR that can put you away for life. Uh, we have more contacts, probably. At this point, we've made so many friends. You're particularly critical of my actions. 
Do you think you would have done anything differently? Aristotle said, Criticism is something we can avoid easily by saying nothing, doing nothing, and being nothing. You're awfully thin-skinned for a bounty hunter, aren't you? Besides, are my flimsy scribbles really hurting your livelihood? But to answer your question, I can't say I would do anything because I'm not a bounty hunter. Thank God. Oh, I hate this guy. My duty is to report the news and periodically offer editorials on people and events. It just so happens that you're a high-profile person now. Besides, you can always learn a thing or two from the critics. We serve an important function, and you should show some appreciation. You're calling straight-up lying being a critic, and I really want to fillet you alive right now. He wasn't necessarily lying. He wasn't telling any truths. He was just making up shit. What lies did he tell? Did I... Did I, get, I don't have the articles in front of me, so I can't reference them. He was talking about how you killed people. And you did kill people. He said that Red Bear was a good guy. A lot of people were following Red Bear, so they must have agreed with that sentiment. I don't appreciate you playing devil's advocate for this diaper face. <laughs> You're in no position to judge me, buddy. Chris can kiss my ass. Then I will continue with the current focus on your reckless killing spree. Ah! You're really not making this easy on yourself. I don't ask for much, but I'm begging you. Let me kill this piece of shit. Maybe, maybe. Hang on. I want to see if I can try to reason with him. If I were to become a benefactor, could you be counted on to change your depiction of me? I have a deep unwavering commitment to objectivity. But perhaps I've been ignoring a compelling human interest story. 500 caps sounds about right, don't you think? <laughs> That's all it takes to buy you off is 500 caps? Fucking done, buddy. Fantastic. Your largesse is duly noted. I think you'll enjoy the upcoming editorials. Goodbye. They better be good, I swear to God. I'm coming back here. And I'm going to split you in two with this shovel. Then you'll actually be able to squeeze behind this chair and desk. I don't know and I don't care. I ain't wearing underwear. Oh, you were supposed to repeat me. I ain't wearing underwear. Oh my god, Mike. <laughs> this passage to Valle del Hierro. That's the, I think it's the Valley of Iron. Iron Valley. This isn't iron, this is granite. Hmm. Eh, uh, deceptive naming, I suppose. We'll just be very careful because there could be a- Yeah, 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 there's hostiles. Yeah. I want my RPK! Give me an RPK! Whoa! <laughs> what happened there? Did he set up a landmine in anticipation? Help! Okay, Sergio's Raider Gang, I guess. Kill them all? With a fire sword, perhaps? Yes! Run! I understand your fear. I would be afraid, too. Oh, there he is. Uh, get, whoa! <laughs> okay, that was fun. Glad I gave you that. Hello. <laughs> yeah, he put all the plebeians out here. All the cannon fodder. Yeah, none of them had anything good. I don't know, but I've been told suck grenades. You're really old. I don't know, but it's been like said. That. I am young, so go fuck yourself. You are dead. Would have rhymed. Which one of you is surgeon? You know what? We're gonna fire the grenade. Sergio! Looking for a Sergio! Wow, we're getting a real showdown at the OK Corral here. <laughs> Things that were going crazy. Sergio! Oi! Oi! Poppy! <laughs> oh, look at him actually using cover. So skilled, so dead. Ducking around the corner won't save you, my friend. Running away in terror won't save you, my friend. Running out of range of my bullets won't save you, my friend. I saw him run this way. I know he's back here. He's taking cover somewhere. I see a bunch of prisoners. There he is! <laughs> what a good hiding spot! Prisoners! Don't worry, we'll rescue you! You're free! Go. Watch Whoa. out! Yeah, watch out for the gunfire as you leave. Bye! Don't get shot! There was a missile launcher up here and nobody thought to use it. No, <laughs> all, the, all those lackeys at the front door could have armed themselves with something. 
Jesse's general store. Oh, it, that's right. He took over a town, didn't he? Yep. Over here. And then filled it full of raiders, who we then killed. Uh, this store is called Nathan's Narcotics. I guess I don't feel bad about killing these guys. Yeah, how dare you, sap sucker. What, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> that looks like a bloodborne weapon. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, new friend. <laughs> uh, you don't normally use melee weapons. Might change it up a little bit now, huh? Yeah, I might use this for a little bit. <laughs> Look at all that beer. You gonna drink it or? I'm about to do a party foul. <laughs> <laughs> all right, last building. Yeah, we haven't checked thoroughly. This is what happens to rangers around here. Lieutenant Ramsey's corpse has been exhibited for the amusement of the Valle de Hierro denizens and as a warning to representatives from the NCR, like you. A small inscription indicates the saloon's owner, Gary, is responsible for this. Since all personal effects have been stripped from Ramsey's body, it's likely that Gary is keeping them as trophies. You Over killed here. our friend Butterbars! We never bothered to learn his first name, but he yeah. was our friend! Ah! Ah! This is what you get! This is what you get, Gary! Uh, finger. Ah, there's his dog tags. Shusha! Are you just looking cool? Yeah, look at this thing! Are you trying to give yourself a shave with a laser sword? No. You know how you sit in front of a bonfire, and it's so warming and refreshing, and it puts your mind at ease? Uh-huh. This isn't doing that. My my eyes are starting to hurt. Alright, well, that clears out this room, I guess. We've killed every citizen in the town, but it looks like Sergio has already left. He's nowhere to be found. Oh! Well, here we are. I finally get to meet the famous bounty hunter of the Mojave. The one who got the Judge, Red Bear, and Johnny Rounder. That was me. I was expecting someone a little taller, frankly. I'm Sergio, or as everyone used to know me, Marco's little brother. That's gonna change here, starting in this town. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm trying to build something, Courier. This is going to be a haven for commerce, unmolested by the NCR or Legion. I'll provide security, sanctuary, and a free market on anything, without restrictions. Valle del Hierro will be a flourishing, independent entity in the waste not beholden to the NCR or Legion. We've already killed all of the people. So all I see is just an empty pit for slavers and raiders, and one guy who thinks that he can take it over with a stupid mustache. Make no mistake, I do control it. And nobody. And I mean nobody is going to take it away from me. Fisk was weak, and he doubted my potential. He said I'd never be more than a than a sidekick. You saw what happened to that fat fuck, I suspect. He wasn't that fat. But I'm here, and this crew is ready to die for me and my dream. Well, what do you want? I want what's mine, and then some. I've paid my dues, Courier, and nobody's going to stand in my way now. I'm gonna run this town, and I'll make more money than Fisk or the Judge ever dreamed of. Mark my words. And as for my brother, I couldn't give a fuck. Soon enough, they'll be forgetting Marco. Oh yeah, where is he? Do you know? Wouldn't you like to know? I would! You'd probably go after him, wouldn't you? No, not really. I can tell you where he's at. The end of a long and storied career. We separated some time ago, believe it or not. We've got different styles, to put it mildly. Well, I've killed my share, but him, he's taken it further. He's probably grown tired of those open plains by now. He preyed on commerce for years, sucking life out of those isolated city-states. He could end up back east. Your guess is as good as mine, Courier. What do you... what do you want from me? There is such a thing as being too successful, believe it or not. Bounty hunters are nothing unusual, but none have shared your effectiveness. Though he was a perverted madman, the judge served a purpose, along with so many others you've purged. I won't offer you bribes or false appendages. I lured you here so that everyone will see you die by my hand in this street. Yeah, they're all dead. I'll admit that I'm slightly ambivalent as you removed some potential rivals and demonstrated real dedication to your craft. Many of those in your business are shiftless, changeable rogues, apt to accept bribes or susceptible to intimidation. I've killed plenty and paid off a few. 
It's an honor to finally test my skills against a thoroughbred like yourself. In more civilized times, I'd put you to work for me, but we're all victims of this barbaric age, I'm afraid. Anything else before we start the music? Why did you put Lieutenant Ramsey on display? He was our friend! He killed seven of my people before he succumbed to his wounds. Since he died quickly, there was no reason to torture him. Gary wanted to please his patrons, so he suggested they leave Lieutenant Ramsey as a trophy outside the saloon. It is remarkable what businesses will do in order to attract customers. Yeah, until he starts to stink. Anyway, what do you know about Stephen Randall? My brother only mentioned him once. He described what he had to do in order to be initiated into a certain raider crew, the Vandals. I was only a child then, and I don't remember much. All I can tell you is that it was terrible, even for my brother's standards. Marco did many things to people. Just remember, I am not my brother. How about you fight me one-on-one? -on -one? Are you too much of a little bitch and you have to wait for your brother to show up and save you? I might be crazy, but I've never been accused of being stupid. No, I'll stick to the plan. Goodbye, courier. You Looks like we're doing this. Hey guys, guess what I got? Oh yeah, Grandma's grenade launcher! <laughs> you like oh, this is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now you guys can really shrug these off, can't you? Wow, he is taking a lot of grenades, isn't he? Does he also have hundreds of stim packs? Probably. Had enough. His gunslinger friend didn't. No, he did not. <laughs> ow! 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 <laughs> yeah, how do you like getting shot in the dick, Sergio? This is how little respect I have for you. There we go. You forgot one really important thing, Sergio. I have a never-ending supply of stim packs. <laughs> Ambition, which is his gun. I don't want it. Combat knife, lucky harmonica. Yeah, that gun didn't really seem to save him during that fight. No, it super didn't. Slave pen key, stim packs, and the key. That's for Ramsey, motherfucker. Vultures are gonna eat well tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, not, not right now they're not, because they can't really get in here. Hang you, on. You said tomorrow. Yeah, we'll, we'll just make it easier for them, shall we? Vultures! Soup's on! Don't forget to peck out the eyeballs! Boss, we looked all over that bunker, but we couldn't locate Fisk's safe. An NCR patrol was bearing down on us, so we had to make our exit before we could conduct a thorough search. We found the key to his safe, though, and I did it like you instructed. It's hidden in your house and under guard, so to speak. I'll make sure the boys are posted up in the towers. Once Zack is dead, we'll have to rig up another display to match the rangers. Mike. That, I did not write that. It must have been a different mic. Yeah, like you're I, I would never work for Sergio. Perish the thought. Ha <laughs> ha! What a ridiculous concept. You got something you want to tell me? Uh, why don't we check out Sergio's house and see if we can find that key? Are you trying to exercise? Do some push-ups. Stop flailing around. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? We said under guard, but it was in quotation marks. Oh, was it under a? Gourd? Is there a melon in here? Harmonica. Harmonica. Where is he getting all these harmonicas? I found two notes. So this note is from Marco, but we don't know what Marco sounds like. Sergio, I heard you're doing well down in the Mojave. I congratulate you. As for me, I am wrapping things up and heading for Frost Hill, that mining town up in Utah. That's right, I'm retiring! This game isn't what it once was, brother, and times are changing. I'm going to turn in this name and settle down with the rest of those saps. I hear it's cold as hell, but at least there's no marshals up there to hound my ass when I'm old and decrepit. All they've got is one lazy, crooked sheriff. I reckon that's what happens when most of the townsfolk are retired outlaws. <sighs> I'm writing solo now, and I gotta admit, something strange happened. I could have sworn that some ghoul was trailing me, watching my every move. The face seemed familiar, if not for that rotting flesh. I'm probably just being paranoid. If you come looking for me, don't ask for Margo, because he won't be there. Because I changed my name. Take care of yourself, and don't let those law dogs see you sweat. Your brother, Marco. Mwah. Also, P.S. Don't trust Mr. K, Mr. Kagan, or whatever they call him. Trust yourself, and to hell with everybody else. Trust in me, who believes in you. And we have another letter from who? Uh, K. Oh. Sergio, your request is to plant that guy. He's been approved. He's repeatedly demonstrated incompetence and inefficacy. All our interests are compromised and destroyed by Zatch. <laughs> Once you remove Fisk and terminate the bounty hunter, 
You will have my full support in that town with your stupid Spanish name, even though you're not Spanish. <laughs> I don't understand it, but whatever. Anyway, K. <laughs> K. Okay. All right, well, that didn't help. He said under guard was in the message. Is it behind this picture? Can you shoot through it? No. Hmm. Under the hammer? Mm, not the hammer, nope. Teddy bear. There it is. Okay, apparently this key will open a safe in Fisk's bunker, so guess we're going back to Fisk's bunker. This is a, this is a nice little custom world space here. He doesn't really have much room to expand unless he starts building onto the cliffs. I would say it's well fortified, but everybody could come up to the ridge and shoot down onto him. That is also true. What a little bitch that guy was. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Uh, my brother's more famous than me, so I have to build a town so I'm more famous than him. What was his name again? I forgot already. Let's just call him Marco's little brother. <laughs> yeah, let's put that on his tombstone let's too. Just, his tombstone will just say, Marco's little bitch of a brother. <laughs> we were here before, but we didn't see a safe. Maybe we didn't check hard enough. There it is. I found 250 bottle caps and a rusty key. Come on, secretary, let's go. A rusty key, you say? Yes. What, what could possibly have made it rust? Water. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. It's just a Legion coin. I mean, I did get a lot of them, and I guess it depends on how much each one is worth. I suppose 250 of any kind of money is worth a lot, unless you're from Zimbabwe. Guess who's back? What can I do for you, young man? Finger time. Okay, what's the bounty? Gee, I don't know, maybe it's the one you just sent me on. We killed Marco's little brother. We forgot his name okay. immediately. Let me see that finger. Well, you did it, didn't you? Yes. As happy as I am to know that Sergio is dead. Still hold myself responsible for Lieutenant Ramsey's death. Rest in peace. Either way, you earned every bit of this reward, and I don't know how you did it, but you're the best goddamn bounty hunter I ever saw. It's not really my business, but I hope you found some information on Marco. He's been running from justice for far too long. If you ever want to collect a bounty or just shoot the shit, drop in any time. We ain't going anywhere. With these guys all gone, organized crime has been rebuffed. For now. For but, now. But the work of a bounty hunter never stops. Other targets will remain to test your skills. In spite of your recent success, you can't help but feel frustrated as you harbor an unpalatable truth. Mark was alive and beyond your reach. Who? Yeah, Marco, the older brother of that one guy we just killed. Marco's younger brother. Perhaps in time, a means to find Marco will manifest. But until then, you must look to your duty in the Mojave Wasteland. I look to my duty. Damn that Marco, always ten steps ahead of us. We'll get him one of these days. I mean, it's Marco, who cares? This is every time we brought a bounty back for Randall. He was just, as soon as we would leave, he'd go, Finger time. <laughs> Finger time. <laughs> Finger time. <laughs> That's weird. This is a judgment-free zone. Yeah, unless you shove fingers up your butt, then that's weird. 